Hello, thank you so much for coming back to join me for today's video. So today's video is a little bit different, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, but I want to share with you my favorite cookbooks. So um, if you'd like to see some of my favorites, then please keep on watching. Just so you know, I do upload a daily video here on this channel all about budget food. So it can be a recipe, it can be a taste test, a little shopping haul, or a random like today. It really does depend on the day of the week, so make sure you do subscribe. Hit that notification bell, bookmark the page, so that way you can come on back and watch whenever you would like to. I would have to imagine if you love cooking, if you love food, then there's probably quite a few of you out there that actually collect cookbooks like I do. Um, this isn't all my cookbooks, but these are some of my favorite cookbooks, and a lot of them are older cookbooks. So, um, I want to go ahead and start with, these are probably my, my all-time favorite. These are the Campbell's cookbooks, so Campbell's Soup cookbooks. So these are from the 60s and 70s, and I absolutely love these. So I don't know, I just love, I love the illustrations, I love the photos. Super, super nice. Um, I just, I like looking back how things were back in the day, I guess, and it's, it's really, really cool. Um, but yeah, they got really cute illustrations and photos just yeah they're awesome but um, I don't cook from cookbooks very often a lot of times I'm throwing stuff together or it's already prepackaged food items but there are some awesome awesome things in here for example there is this Frank potato pie so all these obviously well most of them have some kind of Campbell's soup um, but like this is like a hot dog and potato casserole. <laughs> like, just really, really cool. They also have like spoon bread recipes in here. Um, they have desserts, um, frank and bean sandwiches, so basically um, baked beans and hot dogs on toast. I don't know, I just, I just really, really like the this type of like cookbook. They even have like stuff on like diet, you know, aid for Weight Watchers or whatever, but yeah, just really, really good recipes. Um, they also have um, recipes kind of broken down for seasons or holidays as well. But yeah, really, really good recipe books. Um, if you can find these at like discount stores or secondhand shops, definitely pick them up. Um, so, but yeah, just all of them are like the similar type of layout with photos and cute illustrations. Um, this one has like sauces and casseroles and um, different types of meat. But yeah, festive soups, penny saver mills, you know that's all about me, right? I don't know, I just, once again, I love the old photos. Some of them look gross like this, like meatloaf rolls with boiled eggs and like green beans. I don't know, just very random, but they do have really, really good ideas. Um, they even have like the, ugh, I absolutely love this, and I know not very many people know about this or have made it, but it's the tomato spice cake. Super, super good recipe, and it turns out so good, and you can't taste the tomato soup in it, but very cool. Um, I don't know, I just like these types of things. So yeah, once again, super great. And then this is my last one. This is just a main dish like Spam with like creamy potatoes. That looks amazing. Um, but yeah, these are just main dishes. And meatball stew, um, pork loin, Spanish eggs. Um, they even have stuff that are vegetarian, so meatless wonders. I don't know, I just, it's, it's, it, they're really, really good books. So yeah, definitely recommend the Campbell's um, cookbooks if you find them, they're great. This one is not my oldest. I have one from the 1800s that I actually couldn't find, but this is the Betty, Betty Crocker's Guide to Easy Entertaining. And this one is really awesome because it is 1959 and it is a first edition, first print. Love this one as well. Really, really cool book, but um, these have like very unique, unique recipes. Um, they have recipes from different parts of the world, like um, Italy, Mexico, um, all sorts of stuff. They even have stuff for cooking for large 
gatherings like buffets. Just really, really cool. Um, let's see, they even have like different types of punches to, ch to make. Um, yeah, really, really good um, recipe book. Once again, if you can find any of the Betty Crocker books, definitely recommend them. They're just, they're awesome. So, this is another Betty Crocker cookbook, and this actually has, love this because it has the conversion um, little table, which is nice. And I do like that it is also kind of broken apart so they have different tabs for beverages and main dishes and desserts and meal planning and all sorts of stuff. Once again though, it does have the super cute old fashioned type of uh, pictures. So really, really nice. Um, but they even have like um, a one, one dish meals, which is nice. Um, meatless days, but yeah. Really, really good book. And then um, another one here is the Sarah Lay Chase's Year Round Cookbook. This one is a lot more um, fancy. This one has a ton of pages, but like for example, Harvest Crudités. I've never made any of those, but these are, this is more of a high class book. Um, yeah, just. Mustard creamed onions, baby carrots with brown sugar and mustard. Um, yeah, smoked salmon with ginger butter, so it even um, helps you make the ginger butter. Curled spinach crepes with smoked salmon and cream cheese. So this is more of like if you're, if I was throwing like a fancy dinner or something like that, then I would pull out this cookbook. But um, really, really, really good cookbook. Um, Grapefruit curd tarts. It's it's an awesome cookbook. Um, I haven't cooked anything out of it just because it is very um, fancy. But like lemon chiffon pie on how to make the whole homemade pie crust. I mean, really, really, really nice book. Um, I do have like I said, I do have a really, really old book where they show you and teach you how to like prepare squab, which is pigeon. Um, meats and stuff that we don't eat anymore. Um, it's from the late 1800s or early 1900s. Um, I also have an old Amish cookbook. I love cookbooks. I love going to secondhand stores and finding cookbooks. Um, they're way more affordable and they're unique. Um, I feel like nowadays with everything being online, I love Pinterest and everything like that too, but I kind of feel like maybe cookbooks are kind of dying out, but I love them. I definitely recommend if you love cooking and if you don't have very many cookbooks just one day you know when your little shops are open definitely go check them out they're usually really affordable and very unique and they're older which have some awesome recipes there's an, an awesome recipe in one of these Campbell cookbooks I want to make um, it's like beef stew like canned beef stew and then you chop up apples and cook it with the beef stew it's supposed to be like a harvest stew I've always wanted to make it, I never have, but I'm gonna make it this fall for sure. But I need to keep these out and I need to start trying some recipes from them, especially like the Betty Crocker and the Campbell's. It's, they're very affordable because it's using soup as a base for pretty much everything. But anyway, I just wanted to share my favorite cookbooks with you and um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and share it. Leave me a comment down below um, if you do love cookbooks. What is your favorite cookbook? I would love to know down below in the comments. And don't forget, you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all up budget William and babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start auto-playing here very shortly, or you can always click on one of the ones that'll be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.